Hello, my name is Larissa Hearn and I'm with Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum. I'm back to tell you more about the fabulous Bernina 790 Plus. In my last video, I talked to you about the sewing features and today we're gonna talk about the embroidery features. The included embroidery accessories with the Bernina 790 Plus are the number 26 foot for embroidery, the large oval embroidery hoop, the medium embroidery hoop, the small embroidery hoop, a USB connecting cable, an embroidery needle assortment, two template holders, and a net for the upper thread spool and the embroidery unit. The Bernina 790 Plus has sewing and embroidery. So today we're gonna to talk about the embroidery. When you hit the home button here, it's gonna bring you to a screen that will let you choose from sewing or embroidery. I'm gonna go ahead and tap my embroidery hoop and I'm gonna be opened up to a blank embroidery hoop, a blank clean slate. Let's go over the screen icons on the left hand side. At the very top, we have the upper thread tension. Just below that, we have needle selection. And just below that, I have presser foot selection. Right now, it's showing a warning sign, which means that I have not selected the embroidery foot yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that and then I can select my number 26 foot and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna hit the X in the top hand corner so that I can get out of this page. Below the foot, I have the embroidery hoop display. If I tap this, I'm gonna tell the machine what hoop I plan on using and it will make sure that my embroidery design does not exceed the field. There are three hoops that are included with the Bernina 790 Plus, but there are other accessory hoops that you can purchase. This machine will go all the way up to the jumbo hoop, which is 211 millimeters by 400 millimeters. Today, we're going to use the oval hoop. I'm gonna hit the X at the top hand corner to get out of this page. Below the hoops, I have the stitch plate selection. Below this icon, we have our feed dog indicator. This will let me know if the feed dogs are up or down. On the side of the machine, there is a button with the picture of the same icon. If I tap it, it will let my feed dogs go up and down. If the button is inside of the machine, the feed dogs are down. And if it is flush to the plastic of the machine, then it is the feed dogs are out. And then at the very bottom, I have a filling level of the bobbin thread. This will let me know how much bobbin thread I have left, and it will remind me how to put the bobbin in if I happen to forget. On the right-hand side, I have a folder. This is where I'm going to go if I want to bring an embroidery motif into the embroidery hoop. I have a selection of fonts that I can choose from. I have built-in embroidery designs. I also have sewing stitches that I can bring into the embroidery hoop. And I have saved stitches. This is where I'll go if I've already saved a personal embroidery design onto the machine. If I have something on a USB stick, I am going to choose the USB stick at the top of the screen. I currently don't have anything plugged into the machine right now, so we're going to work off of things that are built into the machine. Once I have selected an embroidery design, it's going to start to show me what I like to call layers of my cake. This way I can make sure that my letters are on top of my embroidery design and not underneath it. 
Once I am ready to stitch out, I have a little needle dot 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 button at the bottom. Once I select that, it's going to instruct me to put the embroidery hoop on and it's going to show me how to do this. One of the coolest things about the Bernina 790 Plus is it has a free arm for embroidery. This means I can do t-shirts and I can slide the neck of the shirt all the way through and it might be a little hard for y'all to see on camera but I'm going to bring the neck of that t-shirt underneath the free arm as I'm sliding the hoop on. I'm going to bring this excess material from the t-shirt down and bring it underneath the free arm so it's out of my way and then I'm going to click my hoop in and make sure I have all this extra material out of the way but this way I won't show excuse me I won't sew the back of my t-shirt to the front of my t-shirt and I don't have to rip out any seams once I am hooped and I have tapped my needle dot 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 button I'm gonna see a blinking green light where my start stop button is I'm gonna go ahead and hold that button and the machine will and the machine will begin stitching another amazing feature on the Bernina 790 plus is pinpoint placement this is something new that they've added on the plus series of the 790 and the 880 this allows you to get precise placement of your embroidery motif on your fabric I recommend that you draw crosshairs on your fabric with either a chalk marking pen or a wash away pen. You can also use a printed template of your embroidery design with a crosshair on it. This is the precise placement icon. Once I tap it, I have two options to move my design. Personally, I like to use the grid option. This will show me each part of my design, including the four corners, the center, and the top and the bottom. It is easiest to select the center of your design. You'll know that you have the center selected because that part of the design will have a gray circle with a white outline around it. It's going to move the hoop to where the center of the design is. I want to use the knobs on the side of the machine to move that needle to the center of the crosshair on my material. I can move my needle down to check and see if I am close. And it looks like I'm pretty darn close right there. I'm going to go up a little bit, a little bit more. This is letting me know that my needle is not all the way up since I have been moving it down to check where I'm at. I can hit the X right here and I can move my hand wheel. So I moved my knobs both left and right and up and down. And now I'm going to turn my needle down to check see where I'm at. And I am right in the middle of my crosshair. Don't forget to bring your needle all the way back up before you start to make any other adjustments. Once you have found your center with your needle on your crosshair, don't forget you have to hit set. Once you hit set, your circle will have a yellow outline instead of a white outline. Now, when I sew, the center of my design will be in the center of my crosshair because that is the point that I have selected. Since the center is just a pivot point, I want to still make sure that my design is straight. I'm going to continue using the horizontal line, and I can use either the right or the left point, and I'm going to make sure that the side of my design is still straight on my crosshair on my fabric. Continue tweaking your width knob until your needle lands directly on your line. Once you're happy with placement, 
Don't forget, you have to hit set. Now my design is perfectly placed on the shirt. I can hit the X at this right hand corner and I'm ready to stitch out. 